What's going on and welcome to a new episode of Teams and Rooms Tech Talk. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up Teams Rooms Pro Management Remote Access. Um, Microsoft Teams Rooms Pro Management securely enables Teams Rooms Pro Managers with the ability to connect to a Teams Rooms device within the Teams Rooms Pro Management Portal to troubleshoot hardware and software configuration problems on the Teams Rooms device unattended, which is something that a lot of people have been asking for. Now, Teams Rooms Pro Management Remote Access supports all certified Windows-based Teams Rooms that run Windows 11. And with the role-based access controls, which I'm going to show you how to set up in a second, your Teams Rooms Pro Management support staff can remotely connect to the Teams Rooms device while being unattended when a device is not on a call. Now, there are a couple of things that you need to set up. So the prerequisites are, one, you need to have a Teams Rooms Pro license connected to the Rooms device. Two, it needs to be a Teams Rooms on Windows device. And then three, you need to add three URLs if they're not already in your network allow list. And those three URLs you can find in the description below. Let's jump into the Pro Management Portal. Let me show you how to set this up. So here we are in the Pro Management Portal. And as you can see, posted on Tuesday, April 23rd, the Teams Rooms uh, Pro Management Remote Access. There is also some documentation available that you can use, but let me show you how to set this up right now. We're gonna start under settings and we're gonna select general. We're going to scroll down and you need to make sure that you enable remote access. So you want to enable integration and then allow Teams Rooms Pro Management remote access. That's step one. For step two, you need to set up a, a role. So we'll go on the roles. We're going to select create role and then we're going to create a new role. Remote access. Uh, this is a remote access a role just for the example. We need to set up some permissions. Now, this is an interesting one. Now, when you select view, the users can remotely access the device, but it's limited to only viewing the device console and the front of room display. But if you select modify, the users will have a full range of actions they can do while accessing the Teams Rooms device. For example, interact with a remote keyboard control, et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna select both and select next. Then we're gonna create an assignment. And again, just for the sake of speed, let me just put something here. And we're going to select next, and then we're going to add members. So we're going to find myself, Michelle Baumann. We're going to select next, and then we're going to create a scope. Now, in the scope, we're going to set up which rooms this person in this role is allowed to control. So we're going to look for comp room, and we'll take this one. We're going to select next. And now we're going to add this new role to access the room. You're going to select rooms, find the rooms you want to access and then select remote access and you can start the session. As you see, we started the session. We can now see the tap controller, but we can also make some changes here and look at, for instance, the front of room display that is connected to this device. If you want to end the session, simply end session, and that's it. Now, remember, this is only possible when the device is not in a call. And also, when you remote access device, you will see a large red square around the front of room display. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, this was useful. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you again on the next episode.